What's up YouTube? Sorry about the hair, I just haven't done my hair today. So yeah, hello, welcome to the Chin Vlog. If you're new to the channel, I have my own larger channel with 110,000 subscribers where me and my mum teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food. I run and own a Chinese takeaway, fish and chip shop, an online store, and I'm an author, self-published, and I've got an app on its way as well, which hopefully should be launching in January. I look very much like Mel from Mel and Sue, or Sue. Whichever the one is with the glasses and the hair, who used to be on Bake Off. Right, so today uh, I thought, you know what, I was on Facebook and I was trolling through feeds and then every day I see this thing come up called human food. I'll put a photo up of it here. And they just look like wanky wafer bars that have been designed from the people holding it as well for turbo hipsters, like the kind of people who want to make you feel bad for not doing what they do because what they do is obviously right and you know and you're just so uneducated and you just don't know anything you don't know any better poor me that kind of thing especially with flavors like hold on they just say human food there's no hold on okay so the flavors are red yellow green orange and white i've gone for actually a trial pack which you get all five of the bars in and then there's an offer that comes up, so if you agree to sign up to their £3.30 a bar, I just realised. That better sustain me for the whole fucking day. Anyway, they have this offer that came up and said if you subscribe to their email list, you can get a free £20 bottle. Did that, got the code, code doesn't work. I'll put a photo up here of it saying invalid code. Emailed them saying I'm not really that bothered about getting the free bottle because it was just there so I, I went for it. Uh, I'm just telling you that this code doesn't work because I know there's gonna be some wank stains out there who come at you for that because they're wankers. And the kind of people who probably buy this kind of thing are normally jumped up tits. So there, you're welcome. I don't know what they're for. <laughs> I can't figure out, I think they're just, meant to be your daily supplements in a bar. I'll let you know when this stuff comes through, but that's just my main impression. I can't stand the name human food. I think it's really, oh there. Organic smart food is their tag. If I can't make a phone call on it, there's nothing fucking smart about it. Organic smart, that's just such a, a wank tagline for, for people who drink mocha chocolatas. Anyway, I've, that's what I've done. That's my first, first thing of, news you're gonna have from me today. I'm actually really excited about it. <laughs> Cause I really just don't think they're gonna be nice at all. And I really wanna see what they're made from and what the point is in it. I'm sure I can read about, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna do classic customer, look at it, buy it, get it, taste it, realize I don't like it, and not even think about what it's for. No, I'm gonna think about what it's for. Right, okay, so I just thought I'd go to see what human food is about. This is their principles, and there's quite a few. From ingredients to packing to delivery, human food has been designed to enable a more sustainable, more reasonable future. Okay, <laughs> all good things, but they're just buzzwords. For this reason, human food will always be organic. Can't be organic if you're using fertilizer. I know it's semantics, but even manure technically isn't organic because you're having to take it from something to put it somewhere else. Organic would be truly growing it in the soil. Anyway, that's by the by. Human food will always be made from 100% whole foods and whole food extracts. So you could in theory use MSG in there if you wanted it. Human food will never contain GMOs, okay. Human food will never contain soy. I didn't realize how horrific soy was for me. Jesus. Human food will never contain refined sugar. Sugar, sugar, your body can't tell the fucking difference. It all gets broken down into glycogen. Human food will never contain any artificial fragrance, colorings, and sweeteners. Mm, okay, I could get behind that one. But again, that's what makes food delicious. Human food packaging will never use plastics. See, I'm really interested to see these because they look like they're wrapped in plastic. And I think they're gonna be paper wrapped with film, but that kind of material isn't recyclable. Technically, the two parts are, but when they're together, they're not. It's a common misconception. So I'm interested to see that. Human food packing will always be biodegradable slash recyclable, recycle slash recyclable, and always be designed to minimize the environmental impact. You could have got rid of human packaging, would never use plastics. Because just by that, you're just, you're just saying the same thing, but more concisely in the second one. So you, well, just get rid of that first one. Human food descriptions will always be delivered by carbon neutral courier service, the wind. We will regularly review our suppliers and systems 
and the way we operate at levels to check that we're doing all we can to minimize our environmental impact. Can not win for that. We will do everything we can to ensure that all levels of our organization and throughout our supply chain, the people who contribute to the production and distribution of a human food are free to go about their work without discrimination on the basis of gender, belief, sexuality, or race in a safe, secure environment. Well, th that goes without saying, doesn't it? That is just, you're looking for more points to put in because you know, if you're a genuine human being, th that goes without saying. We will always seek to be as transparent and accountable as possible. If you have any questions, blah, 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 blah. And then it just says test. Like literally, I don't know if you're gonna pick that up. Right there, the last point is, test. So that didn't actually tell me anything about what the point of the bar is. It just told me about the company. Ah, bars. They're, they're just, they're literally just vitamin bars. God, they're complete nonsense. Anyway, I've got these from Tesco's. They're meant to be like McDonald's egg McMuffin, sausage egg McMuffin pays, but I doubt it. But I'm gonna test them out anyway. Oh, they do smell a bit like them, but there's, there's just a bit too much sage in there, if you ask me. Right, okay, so I've tried to make this as fair as possible. I didn't have any muffins. I think they're called muffins? Whatever, I think the Americans call them biscuits. We call them muffins. So I just have these seeded buns. And before someone says it's not a fair test, your mum. <laughs> I don't care. It's gonna be good enough. I'm gonna be able to tell just from having a bite of it, whether if it was in a muffin or not, it would be any different. So here we go. I've overcooked the egg like they would be. I've got cheese in there. It's not that far off. I just, even though I've got poor quality cheese, I feel that's too high a quality. You know what, Tesco's, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. There's too much sage in there. I think the pack was two quid. I am gonna redo this um, test with muffins because this is really nice. Now in case this didn't work, I built my own one, which has an egg in. I put brown sauce in. I normally like red sauce, but when I'm having sausages, I have brown, red with bacon. I know, whatever. It's, it's my thing, it's what I like. So I've got double sausage in this, egg that is still a little bit runny. And yeah, let's have a go as, as a burger, I guess. I never thought I'd say it, but I prefer it like the McDonald's one. Like that's just a bit weird, but this is really nice. Oh, Tom man, how do you feel about Earl Grey? Me? Me? Because Jake thinks it's an English breakfast tea. What a fucking wanker! Hey? Yo, you don't really give a shit. Of course he doesn't, he's a cat. He's so cute though, he's all cutie pie today, he's all fluffer lump. He's like a, a fluffy, mouldy melon. He's, a, he's, a f he's like a mouldy slug. So I've got this box about literally the day after I ordered it, so it's quick. Um, Chin Taylor, one of each. Uh, nicely packed. These seem... Trash. Man. These just seem like, um, they just said something you piss in. But, so they contain five bars in each one. Now you must have one as a meal or I'm not really sure. Now they said that they don't use plastic but this feels like plastic. I'm not gonna lie, they're vegan anyway. They're soft, they feel like they're gonna be chewy and horrible. Well they, they look like wafers to me. Right so I'm nowhere near hungry enough to try one of these yet. It's quite early in the day. It's probably about F8 and yeah so I'm gonna wait till later to try these. I might try them all at one time and one a day. I am not sure. Today I'm hoping to get some videos done as well so like I get asked the same question over and over again on the main channel and I want to be able to just do a quick video to ping it over so they can watch it rather than me have to type out a comment every time which is exactly the same. It's just easier for me to have the hyperlinks copied into a notes and just paste it over. So that's what I'm gonna be doing as well as other things, which I can't remember off the top of my head. I went to make a cup of tea and then I just saw the extent of our McDonald's sauce collection. We have an addiction. My hair is shit. Anyway, um, I'm just trying to think what channel to put these 
videos on that I'm gonna do. I'm thinking possibly this channel. So they're view freely viewable, and then I'll link them over to the other channel. And then I'm gonna start doing my, uh, you know, the videos for the products. Like this sweet chili, well, this sauce here. I can explain it, because you all know what a sweet chili, well, what a chili sauce is. I can explain the flavor of this one, or whatever ones to you, in a video. And that's the whole point. I'm writing a brief for the new website at the moment. I had another brief, but this, it's so in depth, it's taken me two days of about eight hours a day work because I really need to make sure that they fucking know what I want because I'm not paying a fucking load of money for something that's half-assed. I digress, but oh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> oh yeah, that was it. So yeah, the videos, I think those will go up on Chin and Chew Reviews just so there's a little bit more content on there. It makes more sense as well than putting them up on the main channel. At the end of the day, it's kind of a review when I'm going, this is sweet. It's hotter than the average chili sauce, etc., etc., etc. Or this is used for what, blah, 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 blah. Really looking forward to start filming those. Haven't had any fucking time. You were meant to have fucking a week off. We ended up being in four days of that week. And then on my days off, I was actually doing fucking paperwork. So didn't have a week off. But that's life in the moment. And that's life. Gonna, that's going to be life for the next two or three years, I reckon. Got to get it done. Got to get in there. Yeah. In case you're wondering why I've got these in the background, I'm actually listing them on eBay. Selling my pops off, got no room for them. Plus I can use the money to try and get this cookery school up and running. So I am not going to try the human food today. Chili because I went and bought a massive microwave lasagna. And I know loads of you don't like them, but I, this one was so cheap. It made it even more delicious. It was basically just fake cheese sauce and tomato with carbs which I love so judge me all you want I enjoyed it so I'm just working at the moment and I hate doing this but if I was gonna do it myself it's gonna take a while and I want to open up another restaurant first before I sink money into a cookery school but at the same time I won't be able to open a restaurant out for at least another few months and the new restaurant's not gonna cost me much because it's pretty much gonna be kitted out and loads of people are desperate to get rid of their food places. So just two months worth of saving and I, I could just walk in and just pay for stock and work with what I'm given. So that's not an issue. What is an issue is this cookery school that I really fucking wanna get off the ground. So I think, I'm on, I'm on GoFundMe. Well, I'm on it right now. And I'm gonna make an account up and I'm gonna have a decision or talk with mum about setting a GoFundMe up properly. Just find asking for money a bit. I can't explain it, just a bit icky. Kickstarter won't work before someone says try Kickstarter so you can give stuff back. I don't have time to keep up with, like, I know it sounds awful with bits and bobs like that. I've literally got three full-time jobs I have to do in one go. So GoFundMe is the only option I've got at the moment. I think if anyone does donate, what we'll do is we'll just have a plaque in the and the thing, like a, a nice looking plaque with everyone's names who donated on, and that, that will be there forever, which I think would be quite nice, actually. Great idea by me. Oh, and there's my lasagna. And another thing as well, because we're business, so let's say I raise 50,000 pounds, I've got to pay VAT on that because that's classed as income. So, well, turnover. So I only see 40,000. So then, even though I need 50,000, I've actually got to ask for 64, 62, 62,000, which is a lot of money to raise and I don't think I'm gonna get there, so I don't know if there's any point in doing it. So I'm just thinking out loud to you guys at the moment. Yeah, but I'm gonna go back, have talk with Lydia, mum, and see whether it's a good idea or not. Okay then, so I think that's it for today. So one the other day, traveled three hours just to have a takeaway, which I think is pretty cool. There's their birthday present. Their birthday present was travel down here just to try our food and they loved it which was amazing it's always really nice to hear that that's about it thanks for watching guys make sure to like comment subscribe tomorrow is friday for you guys so there won't be a vlog on saturday but i'm going to try and film some extra content on saturday oh saturday night that's what i was going to say from now on if you didn't get the memo on the live streams and stuff there's no more dark humor on there it offended quite well i say quite a lot of people a couple of people but couple of nice people that I didn't want to offend so we're not gonna do that anymore we are gonna start doing sort of a, a different stream that's not you have to be invited to to be able to be part of that is gonna be more sort of opinions but I mean you're only welcome there if you can take a joke 
and you can understand that someone's opinion is their opinion. Yes, we might, what's the word, fall out over it, but know that I fall out with my friends. Well, that's just, I don't fall out. We have contradiction opinions all the time, and we will argue like cats and dogs. And then literally the second we finish arguing, it's forgotten. That's exactly the sort of thing we want to have. So it might be like a um, Discord or Twitch, I don't know. But something different, not where anyone can just join and then all of a sudden be offended. So you ha really have to know what's going on in those to, to be a part of it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As always, remember, don't freak out. No, that's the wrong sign off. Stay class, no, that's too little. Stay safe, this is a way. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin out.